Hey there everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Claybon and it is now time to take a look at the latest Enzo forecast update. And when I say Enzo, I'm referring to the El Nino Southern Oscillation. And what that essentially is, is what we use to measure whether a season is going to be an El Nino, a La Nina, or perhaps a neutral season, which right now we are in neutral conditions. And when I say neutral conditions, that means those sea surface temperatures across the equatorial Pacific. They're either 0.5 degrees Celsius cooler than normal or either 0.5 degrees Celsius warmer than normal or somewhere in between there. And well, we're there now and probably will be there through the rest of meteorological summer because there's an 82% chance of that being the case. So a pretty high chance and looking ahead to this upcoming winter, we're going to take in consideration the three month period between November and January. And there is a 48% chance of seeing neutral conditions at that point while there is a 41% chance of maybe seeing La Nina conditions returning. Now I'm going to show you this graphic right here and these are the probabilities that we have over the next few months and you see three bars right or at least three colors and the grays are the neutral conditions while the blues are La Nina, the reds are El Nino and you can see the grays pretty much went out this entire time and I wanted to point down this way that NDJ that you see right there. That's the three month period between November, December and January and that's our 41% while just behind that D J F. Well, that's the three month period between December, January and February and there's a higher than 50% chance of seeing neutral conditions as we head on into that time. So let's go ahead and recap and say again, what does that actually mean? Well, last year we had a La Nina and what that usually helps to do is it helps to promote more of a highly amplified jet stream where you have these high ridges and these deep troughs and what that helps to typically do is it helps to produce these prolonged periods throughout the course of a winter of seeing wetter or maybe drier conditions depending on where you are across the US or warmer or cooler conditions across again some of those parts of the well, parts of across the entire US. Now what happens with a neutral phase is we typically start to see a bit more of a progressive setup. We see a little more of a free flowing atmosphere and what that helps to do is our subtropical jet stream, which is not going to be all that strong like it typically is during an El Nino. It helps to transport more of the moisture across the southeast US and there's a higher likelihood of things being wetter than normal over there. Not a given by a higher likelihood while you can see colder air probably likes to travel a bit more across this northeastern US across the Great Lakes there. Not to say that we can't get some cold air over this way at some points, but I think that most of the time it favors most of the cold air heading off towards the east. And then you can see the big range of orange here across the southern tier of the United States where it promotes a higher chance of seeing things being warmer than normal across a lot of these areas. But you can see the immediate coastline here of California not included in that. That would mean that we would see probably closer to average conditions when it comes to temperatures for the area down this way around San Diego while up here around Sacramento might be a bit warmer or at least a higher chance of that being the case. Things being maybe a bit closer around Denver and up across parts of the Northwest. Now as far as the rainfall, the specific jet stream is going to be around maybe its normal strength and looks like all of us here across the West are seeing a pretty equal chance of things being close to their normal precipitation amounts as we head throughout the winter time, which would be great news because we kind of need the rain because the last few months have been extremely dry.